we found a nice little spot round here. It's, as you see, right out in the middle of it, it's nice and wild. We're gonna got a nice stump round here to for a table. Oh, I've even got a table and a chair. <laughs> Cracking. Uh, I'll get my kit out. Morning. Zero pence here. <laughs> and I'm over here in Norsey Woods with my good friend Martin and my son down the end there. And Martin very kindly gave me this gasifier stove, which is absolutely awesome. And um, you've got to try it out. And it hasn't taken long to, no, to get it going. Long, and it's. Uh, I just use the, I must admit, I'm not a striker person. I just use a lighter and a, a cotton wool pad and a straw stick. And I'm going to put that on there and just look for the, got your lid. <laughs> it's so safe you can't find no, it. No, it's, it's probably in here because I didn't, I didn't think of it. That's alright, but, but as you can see, and it's got um it's got a lovely little open area here so you can stick some more sticks in when you want <laughs> so there we are Hello. you can see the see the it is gasifying for the side put a few bits of wood in there it's looking really good and uh, i think i'll drop another little log in there like that. just the, the way as you can see i'm going to come away and <laughs> Let it boil. I thought, this was, I thought he was giving me one that was used. He said, No, no, he said, Have that one. Give me a brown spank and new one. And I thought, I love it, mate. Because as I say, you don't need anything when you're out. You just take, you can pick your wood up yeah. and you're away. Yeah. And uh, as I say, when we went to Edel, he had that one there for sale. I thought, Oh, I love that one. I don't know who'd want that. So, you know what I mean? If I picked it up, I thought, I'd do you for knocking about because you'd like to get out in the boat as well. So. Oh mate, you know what I mean. All I can say is thank you. No, you're more than welcome, mate. That is, you know that is. Sake, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and I enjoyed messing about with mm. it. You know what I mean? It's, no, it's, it's no, nice. They're very good. They're, they're brilliant. Like yeah. say, you, look, you pick your fuel up when you're out. That's what I like yeah. about them. Yeah. yeah. And, and you've got gonna... that little bit at the side there. You can just mm, drop it in. It. Yeah. You're not going to be short of like uh, having to cook your. You can cook. You can put a big billy on top of that, mate, and you're away. Yeah. Well, it's got a nice sturdy base on top. Cook your grub up whenever you want, mate. Yeah. And that would that would obviously it's a bit damp over here, but it's still still eating it. It's still started a, a, a good. Whoa, that sounds old. Stainless at all when it goes all brown and all that. Yeah, things. yeah, I love stainless stuff. It, yeah, yeah, so it's, it's why I am. Uh, My mum always says stainless stuff because uh, aluminium can cause. Aluminium is a bit rubbish. Yeah. There we are. It's boiling, as you can see. I'm just going to let it die down now. It's got lovely rainbow colours all around the side there. Stainless still good. <coughs> and um, I'm just going to let that. Uh, it's just we've been sitting here having a chat and just I'm letting that burn coffee. down and uh Anna's gonna make a cup of coffee now. There's the uh <laughs> gasifier stove and it's it's beautiful. It really is a nice piece of kit. I've uh, enjoyed I enjoyed playing about with that, it was really oh. nice. And uh comes in a little bag. So I'm going to put it in now and put it back in the box because I'm going to take it home and uh, sort out my kit so it all fits. But that, that is really nice. Absolutely brilliant. And there's the, this piece turns into the trivet. Cool. That is a good bit of kit, Mark. Oh, just what I'll bring you over to show you, you can see this is a bit of a valley here. It goes down quite a ways and out to the spring. And it, there are people that have built shelters all the way along here. There's one there, 
one at the back there, another one, the square one, over the back. And this part of Norsey, I've not been in it before, but obviously it, you can see that it's not very well kept, but uh, ranger-wise, but the people that have been here have cleared up all the debris and uh, stacked it up into shelters and stuff that are over there. And it's absolutely brilliant uh, bit of wood over here. It's out of the way. And uh, there is a small path across there that people, a few people have walked, but it really is a nice place. This is the surrounding area and this is a small pathway stuck under this and uh, this is a small shelter. There's a couple of stumps in there where people have been sitting down. I'm going to go into this and it's a quite comfortable, a lot of them are quite hard to get into but this one, oh yeah, as you see the built with that side is a fallen tree. And yeah, I'm gonna keep the wind off. The wind is actually blowing this way at the mo moment across here. As you can see with the a little bit of it. But uh, yeah, quite a nice little thing. You've got to be troll careful when you sit on these logs though because you could be covered in them bloody tree ants and they bite. But I'm, uh, I'll just sit down and give you some idea of the thing, the, the, that was covered in uh, dead leaves and stuff and it's blown off now but a little bit of a this is greenery growing in here so people haven't been in here in quite a while but yeah nice little shelter yeah cool Yeah, nice place. Just take a little bimble up the hill. As you can see Martin and my son are sitting up there having a chat, a cup of coffee. But uh, yeah, some, some nice bits around here. There's some disasters, but there's some nice little shelters around here. And we've just come down to the car park at Norsey and they're building a new picnic area so that looks really really nice I mean that'll be really cool when it's finished it's all locked up at the moment it's got a nice new hurdle fences around it it's gonna look good It'll be nice especially if you can have a little concrete base and stuff looks like you might be able to have a fire that pit there My son and Big Martin, a little bit further in front of me. <laughs> but this is, you can see now, I haven't been over here for a couple of weeks and it's, it's completely changed. It's beautiful, lovely fresh smell. There's elderflowers are out. Uh, elderflowers are beautiful, especially if you make a elderflower wine or an elderflower cordial. Those are really nice. Oh, is it for well, uh, keep all the muddies off there, the muddies. that repellent? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, you get But you see the flowers, you can actually fritter them. Yeah. A bunch of flowers, put them in butter, beer butter, yeah. and fry them up, and they'll make a lovely snack of them. Yeah. But they're nice. Don't eat the berries when they're green, because yeah. uh, poisonous, very yeah. poisonous. But when they're red, you can eat them, a few of them, but don't eat a whole lot. No. Nah. They'll be slightly poisonous. You better just cook them up and make wine with them. Yeah. Or a jam. Very, uh, very nice. Some, uh, I think a lot of people just seem to have, uh, for a Sunday, there's not a lot of people over here, but I think they're expecting it to pee down with rain. And also, it's Father's Day. Oh, happy Father's Day, by the way. Ah, thank you. Happy Daddy's Day. <laughs> Daddy's Day, yeah. <laughs> Sunny. Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I do like them. That's, that's Ingrid. <laughs> Ingrid. Because uh, it's a bird, I'm not. We'll call it Ingrid. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
size of these things. It's like something about a horror movie, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think with Charlton Eston, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's Charlton, but he always gets the bird, doesn't he? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. uh, I'll, I'll be lucky.